I'll jump in. Hey, Hassan. Uh, looking at Atlanta this week, uh, a team that has had their fair struggles, but the fair share of struggles, but they've t kind of found uh, a little bit of rhythm offensively. What are you seeing from those guys on film that uh, makes them uh, a tough out this week? Uh, they, you know, they're just getting a rhythm, like you said. They're getting a rhythm. They're getting in a groove. Um, finding somewhat of an identity, uh, and, that, and that's pretty much it. They've been, you know, they've been playing really, really well lately. I will go to Jonathan Alexander. Hi, right, so, um, how important, uh, if it were to happen this week, would it be to get guys like Shaq and you, you add Stephon Gilmore and maybe some other, and Justin Burris this mm -hmm. week, if it well, were to happen? Very important, um, you know, after losing four in a row, um, we need some of the guys like Shaq, you know, uh, JB to get back on the field, help get this thing going back in the, in the right direction. So, um, you know, if they're, if they're able to come back this week, man, it'll it, it'd be a big, you know, morale booster for the team. We'll go to Darren Gant, followed by Will Pulaski. Uh, Hassan, you you mentioned that losing streak. From a confidence standpoint, what do you guys have to do to kind of get your feet back underneath you and get back to the kind of defense you were the first three weeks? Uh, just 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 fixing the little things, man. It's little things here and there. Uh, one person here, one person on the next play. Uh, we just got to get back to all eleven guys doing their job on the on on, on each and every play instead of you know a guy here, a guy there you know, trying to make a play. Just everybody just do their job. I mean, that sounds simple, and, and guys say that a lot, mm -hmm. but how does that manifest itself on the field? How um, do you guys fix that? I can't. It's, it, it, we just got to get all 11 players doing their job. <laughs> this is That's as simple. It sounds simple because it is It is that simple. Um, we just got to get it done. So I know that guys kind of, you know, stay in their lane, stay in their own phases of the game as far as things go. But, but what responsibility do you have as a leader on this team to make sure that there isn't any, you know, division between, you know, the offense and the defense or, you know, one side's lacking and one side isn't. You know, you guys, as Matt Rule usually says, you win as a team, you lose as a team. How do you go about making sure that there is still kind of a harmony there? Uh, just making sure everybody know that we, we we win together, we lose together. No matter what side of the ball does well or what side of the ball isn't, um, at any point in time, you know, it's a, it's a team, it's a team, it's a team game. At the end of the day, when we all go home, when when the clock says zero across, all the way across it, um, you know, at the end of the day, did we win or did we lose? Uh, as a, you know, together, um, and that's about it. Has it been difficult to properly channel the frustration during these four weeks? Because I know that, you know, at times you might do too much or, or maybe go out in an assignment on yourself, that kind of thing. How difficult has it been to kind of channel that frustration positively? Uh, for, for me, I can only speak for me. For me, not uh, it's not really a challenge for me. Uh, being an experienced guy, a guy who's played a lot of football in NFL, you know, if I make a mistake, my, my only goal is to be better on the next play and, you know, and, and try to make up for, you know, what I did to play before. That's about it. We're going to Steven Toronto, followed by Sharon Thornton. Hassan, I don't mean to harp on last week too much, but as the game progressed uh, last week, did you get a sense that the team started to flatline emotionally as things went wrong and the game got away from you? Uh, I, I, I can't necessarily say that I felt that. Um, it was just a, I was, it was a bunch of things that I was concerned with within myself to even, you know, be worrying about too much of what else was going on. You know, I was more so worried about just going on the field and, you know, every time I touched the field, just playing uh, good football and trying to lead by example, you know. Um, that, that was all that I was really focused on. All the other stuff that happens, I, I worry about all that stuff after the game. Hey, Hassan, uh, Matt Ryan been a great quarterback in this league obviously for a long time he's having another solid season right now what makes him such a good player and sort of how would you describe him as a player a veteran QB smart guy he, a lot of football uh, he's been doing it for a very long time at a very high level you know um, a guy who's taken his team to the Super Bowl before um, 
he, he's a vet, you know, he, he's a vet and he's really good at what he does. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Let's go to Kevin Tilbert, followed by David Newton. Hey, Hassan. Um, Matt touched on it uh, during the last press conference, and you kind of mentioned it there uh, a moment ago, talking about going out and not just making a play, but doing your job mm-hmm. and staying focused. So from an athlete's perspective, how do you decipher between that sense of urgency, which allows you to do your job, versus you know, kind of a sense of panic mm-hmm. that has you just kind of trying to do something that causes you to maybe overdo things or underdo things? You, you pretty much answered the question yourself. When you're trying to do too much, that's exactly what happens. You do too much, uh, and, and it, sometimes it doesn't work out in your favor. Uh, in, in your favor. Um, and, and that's and that's pretty much it, man. If you if you just do your job and let the play come to you, rather than worrying about oh I need to make a play and trying to go make a play, you know if you just stay in your gap, things like that, and usually the ball will run there and then you can make a tackle, rather than rather than being in your gap then jumping out of your gap because you thought that you can get out of your gap to go make a tackle. Just do your job and the plays will come. Hey, Asan, I wanted to ask you, you've seen Matt back when you were trying to rebuild at Temple, how he responded to when things went bad like they're going now. Start, can you, you start your question? Can you start your question over again, please? Yeah, you saw Matt back in college when things weren't going well, what he did to kind of turn things around. Any similarities of what you've seen out of him now to try to, to turn things around and get you guys back in the right direction? Uh, you know, he's just he's still preaching, just preaching the same thing, you know, just being the same people that we were at the beginning of all of this. Um, you know, he's not really changing too much it's not, because it's, at the end of the day, we all here to work together. Um, you know, so it, it's clear that, you know, everybody has to step up and do better. Everybody, we all know it, you know, from, from players, coaches, whatever it is, everybody has to step up and do better. Um, and so that way we can get the job done.